Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. You're probably wondering why. Because we are in the Betty Crocker kitchen. And this is where Betty Crocker, her real name is Agnes White. This is where she did her little radio shows back in 1941. Did some cooking right here. Had the first stainless steel prototype kitchen. And today we have the rebirth of Betty Crocker right here. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys, this is Jennifer. Uh, she is our in-house baker and she is the founder owner of Bread and Butter. Um, so she is going to bake a what? Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Yes. We're so excited. So tell us what you have here. So everything you need to bake a cherry pie, very simple. You need flour, sugar, I use red tart cherries mm -hmm. and I get them canned. They're Oregon cherries because they're very hard to find around here. Mm -hmm. um, you need a little cornstarch, a little almond extract, and don't forget an egg. An egg. Those are from our chicken. Laid chickens laid this morning. So you will need an egg to make your pie look pretty. It mm -hmm. doesn't go in the pie, but to make your pie look really professional and beautiful, you'll need to... Um, brush it with egg white. So Ooh. I'll show you that at the end. Okay, I'm so, so excited. Yes, yeah, so to begin, we're gonna make our pie crust. Okay. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge and mm -hmm. let it chill because the secret to pie crust is to keep it cold. Hmm. So the first thing we need, and we'll get it out of this beautiful, lovely vintage, vintage fridge. refrigerator. And I've put it in the freezer, is butter. Okay. So to begin Hi Jace. We have a we have a, a debut, a star, a cameo by Jace. Hi buddy. Hi. Hot stove, hot stove. Don't touch. Safety first. Your mom is cooking. There she is. Here I am. Okay. So tell us what you're doing. Alright, so into your mixer. You can do it in a food processor as well, but I prefer a standing mixer. Um, or you can use a pastry cutter if you don't have a mixer or a food processor. Mm -hmm. Just an old-fashioned pastry cutter works great. So two cups of flour, mm -hmm. and you need one teaspoon of salt, and my teaspoon is here. And many of you have tried Jennifer's pies. She is known for her pies. This is something that she started releasing um, probably halfway through, right? Uh, right. At, at uh, Brick and Barn. Mm -hmm. She is there every show, um, and she gets requests for pies. Her top pies are, what, you do blueberry, rhubarb? Rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb, which is just coming into season. Mm -hmm. um, blueberry, mm -hmm. um, apple, mm. cherry. Cherry is mm. probably my, be my best seller. Yeah. But during the summer, I think strawberry rhubarb. Mm -hmm. So you want to use super cold butter. Um, okay. Dice it up into little chunks. Mm -hmm. Now, this is something I would not know. I do not do a crust quite like this. This is next level crust, so we're really excited. So. This is kind of your go-to recipe on this crust, right? This is my go-to crust recipe. Mm -hmm. I use it for pretty much every pie I do. Mm -hmm. okay. You're gonna blend it until the until the flour kind of looks like cornmeal. It's gonna look a little bit yellow. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look kind of gritty. Mm -hmm. um, and when it gets to that point, that's when you're gonna add ice water. So it takes a few minutes. Um, I would just say don't be afraid of your pie dough because really you can't screw it up. The mm -hmm. only advice I would say is err on the side of wet. Really? Don't leave your pie dough too dry because by the time you get it in the fridge and take it back out and flour your cutting board, if your pie dough is too dry, it's gonna crumble on you. 
So make sure it's a little bit on the wet side. Mm -hmm. And then um, the flour that you add for rolling and things like that won't end up making it too dry. Okay. So you can see now it's getting pretty close. Um, it's just, it's like kind of bumpy cornmeal. And let it go for just another little bit, but for the sake of time, we're gonna call it good. Okay. Um, I have ice water. Okay. Make sure it's really cold. Mm -hmm. Don't put ice cubes in it though. Okay. One, two, three, four. It should be about five. Mm, it looks like a little bit more. Like I said, I'd rather air on the side of wet than let my pie dough be dry. So, so can you repeat what just went in there for those of us who weren't paying attention? <laughs> okay, so that was um, flour, salt. How, how much flour? Two cups of flour. Okay. One teaspoon of salt. Okay. And two thirds cup butter. Great. And then five to six. Okay, we're back. Okay. So we have finished the crust. See a little sticky, a little tacky. I'm gonna split it into two. You can see it's it's pretty, you know, it's kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. uh, sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky. I'm gonna sticky. squish it into two um, yeah. little pancakes here. Well, hey, hey. And is that enough for yeah. one pie? This is oh. the top or the bottom crust and the top oh. crust. Oh, perfect. Okay. So that is enough for one pie. Okay. We Excuse the dogs. <laughs> Health because code violation. We want to of course keep it chilled. Yes. I love this little apron, by the way. Can you tell us about that apron? This, my great grandmother made this apron. My mom wore it. Um, and my grandmother, uh, her mother, my great grandmother, she is the one who started many of the recipes that I use today. Amazing. So for example, the country white bread is actually my great grandmother's recipe. So, oh. and I started baking with my grandmother. Oh my gosh, she girl. Girl. So I think that's where my love of baking started. So. And you guys, when she says love of baking, it's this lady can bake. I mean, trust me. Tell us some of the things you have at uh, Brick and Barn on show days. Um, well, crumble bars, because if I showed up without them, I think I would yeah. get kicked out. Yes. Um, it's a possibility. Big following so, on those. Yes. Um, I always show up with multigrain bread, sourdough bread, which now um, I've been doing flavored. Either I have um, rosemary or roasted garlic parmesan or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then cookies. Cookies, of course. Can't show up without cookies. Mm -mm. Cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. All my pies, lemon bars, lemon cake. Mm -hmm. You have some peanut butter goods as well sometimes, mm -hmm. cookies, and yeah. she does a lot of seasonal desserts as well. So um, I do. I like to try and do something new. Like we had a lot of fun doing whoopie pies. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just took my cherries. I did one can with the juice into my pot, mm -hmm. and then I drained the other can, and I'm going to put those cherries in as well. Okay. So this is going to be the cherry filling. And to that, we're going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. If I can find oh, my tablespoon. Pieces. Oh, I used it for water. For the water. Pieces, pieces. So kiss me. Who so likes me? The water. Our dogs love you, Jace. Kissing you. <laughs> I just love this moment. I love you. Do you love me? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now you are getting. So now I'm getting sugar. Okay. To the because they're tart cherries, mm -hmm. I'm using three quarters of a cup of sugar. Okay. Um, all pie recipes will tell you to check your fruit for sweetness, um, and so it will vary by about a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. So if you're using sweet dark cherries. You will need quite a bit less sugar, mm -hmm. but because they're tart, you need a little bit more okay. to make it taste good. Okay, and this is your cornstarch. So cornstarch goes in, this is what's gonna make it thick. 
Now, um, is it always the same recipe that you follow? I you... always use this recipe okay. because it is my favorite recipe. Um, this is the recipe that makes people cry. Yes, uh, and she's not joking. We had a lady, bless her heart, started crying because she said it was the best cherry pie she's ever had. It's true. So It's true, not to gloat. No, true. no, it's true. Okay, so we're gonna set it here. Okay. And cook it. Okay. Until... She is in a foreign kitchen, by the way, and she's I doing know. fabulous. Has no idea what I have going on here, and she's just making it work. Look but, at her, you know. natural. Yeah. Throw her in a kitchen. Are, you know, kitchens are kitchens. Yeah. There, there she goes. And Marlise has a nice kitchen here. It's yeah. Betty Crocker's kitchen, so yes. it makes sense. She is channeling Betty as we speak. Yes. So, what do you break them up? <laughs> no, uh -uh. Um, they'll just stay just like this. Okay. So what we're looking for is this liquid is going to start to turn dark red. Okay. And thicken, and that is when we know we can take it off, mm -hmm. roll out our crust, and stick it in the pie. Okay. Now, if somebody wanted to substitute one of the cans of cherries for another fruit, is that going to mess it up? Or no. And actually, one of the favorite pies, which was sort of an accident, has been apple cherry. Ooh. Because I had leftover apples from apple pies and leftover cherries from cherry pies, and so I stuck them both together, slammed them in a pie crust, and now it's one of the favorites. Magic. So Magic by accident. The great thing about pies is you can't mess up a pie. There is no wrong ingredient to put in a pie. I can mess up, but Jennifer never messes up pies. I mean, my kids would say if you put raisins in the pie, you've ruined it, but right. not everybody would say that. Right. And by the way, can I just say how much I love what's happening here? <laughs> I love you guys. I'm so happy. This is like a little family moment. This is my little family. Oh, look at this. Jace. Say hi, Jace. Say hi, guys. Who's the best baker in the world? That lady up there? You sure it's not me? Positive? I think you're right. I think you're right. She usually gets the baking. Yeah. Yep. You're right there. You're right there, August. Okay, so next, what's up next? So next, after this cooks, we're going to come over and get out our pie dough. We're gonna create um, a clean, dry spot. Mm -hmm. Preferably that's kind of cool. So at home, I always use a marble slab, but mm -hmm. this countertop oh, is perfect. It's copper. Can, it's copper and it stays nice and cold. It doesn't get hot. Mm -hmm. So, um, you could roll your dough out directly on the counter. Wonderful. And this is my rolling pin of choice. Mm. Okay. And it's also, um, can be a weapon if yeah. somebody um, crosses your path that you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get that uh, bad boy rolled out here and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 